Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. In this review, we take a look at a George Toy Warhammer 40k, the Space Woods Iron Priest Jordan Fellhammer. This is a smash box that comes in. Can you believe Amazon sent this to me in a padded envelope? Really? Really, Amazon? Seriously. But here we go anyway. For you package collectors, there's the artwork. These are recommended for adult collectors at least 15 years and older. These are Wayne Teens Kalash figures. Here's the back of the box. We do have the product image. Here at the top, at the front of the figure, product statement. We have the back close up. Here we have the figure and all his accessories or some type of very unique apparatus we're going to be taking a look at here shortly. There's the side of the box, other side of the box. Here is the top. Here is the bottom. Okay, is it just me or is it simply like every time there's your kind of like your favorite figure or something you very much want, usually it comes with a problem, comes with smash packaging, missing parts are broken, you know. And all those other figures you just get because they go to, you know, you like them, but you're not you're gonna be like your favorite figure, come beautiful. A box of smash, that sucks. Here is also the packaging. My first impression is like Wow, the sculpting, the paint on this figure is off the charts. Very cool, show the packaging. An Iron Priest is a unique specialist officer within the Space Wars Space Marines chapter. The Iron Priest essentially serves in the same capacity for the Space Wolves as the Tech Marines of other Codex Astartes compliant chapters. The Iron Priests look after the many technical systems within the Space Wars Fortress Monastery of the Fang, supervising engineering project, projects and all the other complex technical tasks undertaken every day by the Astartes of Fenris. The skills of these grim and tactful artisans are both respected and feared by their fellow Space Wolves, most of whom view advanced technology and the mechanical arts as dark and frightening arcane science. The Iron Priests are masters of the forge, armory, war engines, and the machine spirits, and it is their job to maintain all advanced weapons and technology of the Space Wolves. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at that aesthetics, man. <sighs> this is just insane. Like you can see a lot of cut into the armor and just kind of gives you this blue stone look. But let's take a look at his head sculpt, metallic red eyes. There's just kind of a lens on his forehead. Just, I don't know, it's like a stone looking material, but it's blue. This incredible looking vent. It's kind of a, a, a slanted look. It's a very unique. Then we have these hoses. We have two silver ribbed hoses with the red in between. Silver cylinder on the side. On both sides, those hoses run. His head does rotate, maybe, maybe not. Um, because of this sculpt, maybe. Yep, oh, nope, you can get it. 360. Goes into this piece in the back. Very cool. Those hoses are connected everywhere on this figure. It's very difficult to get that 360. You can get it. You can look up and back and forth here, up and down, side to side. Very cool. His collar piece is very close. His head is kind of fills up that, that crater that we used to see. There's kind of there's too much space, but in this case, should be just a little more space. Then we have this black strap, kind of looks like ammunition, but it's not. Here it comes as a next. In the center, we have the wolf golden skull. We got a gold piece here. And on this side, man, let's just go. Yeah, they got the hoses here. We'll take a look at here in a second. And then we have some of the iconography here, the space of uh, insignia, and that's on a like a. 3D disc with the black paint of the wolf's head. Over here, we do have this 3D iconography piece here, kind of like a, a mechanicus symbol, but a wolf, a uh, space wolf style, which is really cool. We have like a, a ring here attached to the uh, pauldron, which have these unique mechanical gear designs throughout on both pauldrons these pauldrons do move back and forth they are strapped underneath his arm like the v2 body so it's a, but you get some movement there so going back um wait, wait a minute his arms do rotate 360 
So I get here's those hoses that are connected. We have a thick red hose, a thin red hose, and a ribbed silver hose with gold connectors. And those come all the way around and come into this backpack. Everything is connected. It looks like it's supposed to be there. Got this very sick looking pieces that keep drawing to your flesh and still your blood, your plasma, your knowledge. I'm not sure what that piece is, but it looks pretty sick. Then we have a silver rib hose that comes around on this side. There's a coupler there in gold, which comes over to his belt, which is pretty cool. Now, his arm, like I said, rotates 360. They have the uh, bicep cut 360, double jointed elbows. The hands go up and down, all the way around, side to side, obviously, in and out, and anywhere in between. On this armor, we do have his computer panel. Which is really cool. It has a green screen, maybe a little more paint here on those buttons, but we have a, um, a blue and red button there. Pretty nice for that gauntlet. Now, over here, we have an iron hand. So, you get the double jointed elbow on this, on these normal figures, but here you're going to sacrifice um, the double jointed elbow for a single jointed elbow. Just like this poor tech marine had to sacrifice his hand to become a tech marine. Now you just can't become an iron priest. You have to earn it. You have to be tested. It is a long, lonely journey. Very tough to become an iron priest. But I'll let you guys go ahead and research on your own. But we're going to take a quick glimpse at the very last thing you have to do. Because it comes into reason why our tech our iron priest here has his iron hand so the final test undertaken by an aspiring iron priest is to place their right hand into the lava as they sacrifice the spirit of the iron wolf so their hand is lost in this act they receive a bionic replacement as part of their induction into the ranks of the priesthood it's kind of like when you you mess around when you're in a gang or yakuza and cut off your fingers. This guy gives his he gives his hand and his pretty much half of his arm just to be in the priesthood. That's an ultimate sacrifice, in my opinion. So that's why this gentleman here has his iron hand. Very very cool backstory. Highly recommend you go do some research, read up on this guy. Very interesting backstory and very interesting lore. So his waist piece here is incredibly sculpted. There's so much going on here. So we looked at the hose with the gold connector. We have the wolf's head here. And throughout here we do have these gold triangles with the metallic diamond shaped tri pyramid looking uh, pieces. What really caught my eye too is this little hammer. <laughs> that is very cool. That's sculpted right there. I wish that was removable. It is not. Best that I can tell stuck on it pretty good that is really cool that is a hanging piece there very nice we have a little dog tag there and here at the top of the uh side of this belt we have a blue a red a silver and a yellow and black hose that goes into a tube tubing tubed ribbed conduit to the back of his backpack on that side and that's pretty awesome which we talked about there's a back plate Sculpted also thigh pads sculpted around with that gear stone look Moving on to his knees. We have the insignia for the space wolves and the other in black We do have a scar here on that knee pad Then we have a blue yellow and black striped hose going from his uh, calf to his thigh Little gold there. There's so much to look at here. We have like a silverish fang medallion Talisman there on the inside. He has some more of silver connections. Maybe that's four hoses to connect Don't know But this figure has so much aesthetic and this is Quickly has become one of my favorite pieces in my collection Some silver studs throughout so I'm going to take a little extra time here Hope you guys don't mind. I want to show you as much close-up and detail this figure has because I'm not trying to sell you anything. I don't want really to care. I'm just showing you how beautiful the figure is because I appreciate action figures. And that's what this channel is for. For collectors to appreciate awesome action figures.
Again, like I say all the time, George Wade problem solved is one of a kind pieces. Where are you gonna get aesthetics like that? Paint. Without pain, a premium price. The hose is all free flowing. They're just they're, they're individual um, manufactured pieces. Very, very cool. Here's that iron hand. Very nice. Um, so like I said, you've seen the articulation in the hands and the arms. Um, we do have some back here for of the upper chest. There's a 360 rotation of the waist, but there's a lot going on there. I'm not going to force it because I really like this figure, but it's there if you want that. This is this does move around. You can take this off if you want. 360 thigh rotation, double jointed knees. Um, his feet do pivot down and up. They have the side to side and the two articulation up is there also to round out his overall articulation. Incredible figure. Very nice. Very, very cool. A lot of detail, a lot of sculpt. How do you recommend the figure already? And you think you've seen it all, you haven't. I mean, okay, it's one thing to, I mean, I have been collecting figures for a long time without many companies. It's one thing to get an amazing figure, but to get an amazing figure and the accessories are just as detailed and sculpted as the figure is, it's very rare. So that's that thought. Let's go and check out some of his accessories. So I'm just going to knock this out in the beginning here so we can get to the good stuff. Um, he does have all, two, only two alternate hands, the trigger hand. And we do get an iron hand replacement. All right, since we got the hands out of the way, we do have this type of optics here. Vent on the back, some paint on the top. And this is supposed to pig on this side. Clean the box. I'm pretty sure you can do whatever you want to, but that's where that goes. So we'll take a look out here in a second because I want to show the other one. We do have this lens. I don't know, is this a Predator Canon, a camera? It should be whatever you want if you don't really care. But if you guys know what these are, comment down below, share with us. I'm sure we can take a look at the uh, gear somewhere online. That looks pretty cool. And there he is. That looks awesome. And they fit very nice in there. So that's very cool. Okay, let's move our guy back because we're going to be taking a look at this apparatus. I wonder why am I calling this apparatus? You're going to see why. So, this is what we got here. So, we're going to take a look at this piece by piece. Um, I'm not sure if I like everything connected, but I get the reason it is. So, we'll start with the base, I guess, which would be his power pack. It's incredible. We have the Mechanicus gears here, iron skull and gold, silver vents. We have the red, blue, yellow, black tube wire there. We have the black and red wire tubes and red and another rib tube there, which we'll show you what that's going here in a second. A couple of studs there. Um, here's this kind of motor looking piece. This gold, maybe is this a coil antenna? Very nicely detailed. Very cool. Is inside of this a little black inside. Very cool. Um, so let's start with this hose. Uh, you got your two hoses. This goes into the awesome gunmetal piece here. So this is kind of like a servo arm. It's a very powerful um, piece that can lift a lot of weight. But it's really unique. We have the gunmetal. We have the hoses. And we have the sculpted wolf's head as the unique piece. Um, not sure if that moves. The head moves. Oh, look at that. You got a piston there. That's pretty cool. It goes in and out. That's awesome. But this is not, the jaws are not articulated, unfortunately. 
but that's I didn't expect that. That's really cool. It's down in here, and then next to the hoses go back to the power pack, and then that gets you got to kind of get the right angle and spin it around. It gets connected here, which we'll do hopefully in a second or so. Second part of here, we have different types of hoses and wires. We have this one here. It's kind of a, a red piece. This goes into his um, thunder hammer. It's just pretty cool. And look at the detail just in the handle, the gold, the red, the skull thing in there. We have some tags there with some metallic blue. Very cool. I love the shape of this thing. It's insane. That's really cool. Um, then we have another weapon. Type of, uh, from this hose, you can see the different hoses. So it has like the black connectors and it's holding a, 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 a black wire along this silver red one with some dog tags there. And we have this. Um, not sure what it is. If you do, comment down below that we all can learn. That's pretty cool. I sculpted There's some type blue wash over some of that. So I don't know if it's has some kind of power. If it's some plasma or medicine or what's going on here. But I love it. It looks fantastic. The color looks great. So what I'm going to try to do is go ahead and try to get all this assembled onto the uh, figure. You ain't going to want me to see me uh, try to mess around with that and make a long video. So we'll get to see how he looks as a final result but this <laughs> this is crazy i kind of wish it was take it at least take them off as an option but you don't and this is what you get all right guys so i changed my mind usually when you have such a a complex apparatus to get on your figures you usually have some fiddling but i started doing this and it was like incredibly easy so i went ahead and i did pop this on very easily so I'm going to share it with you guys if you don't mind how easy this is. Let's put this in the back. I mean, that's just kick. I mean, I didn't even do, didn't even do anything. I didn't notice to the hands. They're nice and soft. So I'm just going to use this natural flow. So obviously, I'm going to use this side for the gun because it has a trigger finger. And I started doing this. This is what made me really think about it. I'm going to show you guys. I really had no effort there. Um, so... There he is with that gun in his hand and it fits perfectly even in an iron hand perfect length on the finger looks good um so let's test this hand which i didn't do um uh, nice nice and perfect tolerance it's not too soft not too hard that's what she said and uh you know that was coming right there's a there's hammer in his hand and there you go. So I'm saying I had to show you how effortless that was. That's cool. Wow. <laughs> this, guy's a, this guy's a beast, dude. Wow. There he is. So, wow, there he is. That's incredible. And that's how easy it was to get all that gear. I mean... I know it's a little out of focus, but I'll show you in a second here. But you can see, look how, look how detailed that is. I mean, just having it on your shelf, and someone will walk by, I'm like, what is that? And you're gonna be like, that's my own priest, baby. And you can tell them, you can do your research, tell them all about the Iron Priest and his struggle to become one. You can tell them Blast Guys Reviews hooks you up with that. Look at how the hoses flow individually all isolate all individual pieces are all isolated by yourself there's enough hose there they're not um too the plastic isn't too tight to cause a lot of friction i want to pull that back or pull it in an unwanted direction enough hose enough flexibility to allow for me just to show you how amazing it was to use now if all they would use this model on all these technical guys like this they would be man near perfect pieces and again not this perfect but just look at that guy man that's insane 
I cannot get past that wolf's server arm there. That's that's so beautiful. I am a big fan of the space wolves. They are probably my favorite at this point. They're very close. Um, but a couple of the chapters I just think are incredible. They I like a lot, but if I had to choose, this gotta be the space wolves. Why do I like the space wolves? I don't know. I, I'm a big fan of wolves. Um, I like Vikings and they kind of have that, I'm not too tuned on those werewolves, stuff like that, but yeah, they're kind of cool. Like some of the cooler movies, can't think of the one that I'm thinking of. Um, I don't know, it doesn't matter. But anyway, I, that aesthetic is just, I think comes together very nicely. And I think the blue is really, really awesome. And the overall backstory and the lore of these guys are just insane. Just really lash on to this chapter. And I, mean, I love the uh, Black Templars. I think they're fantastic. You gotta check out my reviews for the new uh, Bayard's Revenge figure. That's a great review. He is gonna look good on my shelf with my Iron Priest. Really hope you guys are enjoying this review. If you do, don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Try very best to bring you highly detailed shots that you don't get too much anywhere else. Unless they want to copy. But there you go. Highly, 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 highly recommend this figure. Can't express enough how I highly recommend it. Um, he's a beautiful figure. Very, very cool. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys liked this figure. Hope you guys liked this review. If you did, again, if you can support the channel, like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate that very, very much. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next review.